Hey guys, and welcome to part number four of our Pokemon Black 2 walkthrough, English edition here. Uh, we were just entering the Flocacy Ranch, so let's dive right in here. Sorry I did not get a video up in the last day or two. Just got a little busy with things, so... Anyways, we should be entering... I was going to say entering, um, about to run into a rival here. Tyson. Oh, nice. You've come here to toughen up. All right, let's see how much stronger you've become. Come at me. So, very short in our adventure here is our second battle with our rival. However, he still has just one Pokemon, his Tepig, as he sends him out there. At level 8, our Snivy, level 8 as well. So I believe Tepig learns Ember at level 10, so we should be all right. Um, I'm actually going to use one Leer to start things off here. See if that helps things any. And then we'll just go for the Tackle, I think. Tackle is pretty powerful for this game. I think they made it stronger from past versions. And he lowers my defense. Come on, partner, shrug it off. You're stronger than that. Is he, though? Hey, look at that jolly little Tepig just bouncing around there. Oh, critical hit. And he tilts again, so... Goodbye, Tepig. Maybe this will put us to level 10 right away. Got a lot of experience from the first time we battled, at least. And Tepig goes down. 149 experience. Level 9. And oh, so close! Just need one easy battle win to get to level ten. Looks like. How could I have lost? I need to apologize to my partner. Let me get eight hundred for winning. Another good payday for fighting our rival. Not bad. You're thinking about how to bring out your Pokemon strength. I should be able to count on you for backup. What are you doing here anyway? Huh? A town map? Oh yeah, we were supposed to give that to him, and we hand it over. She didn't have to do that. Thanks to you, too. We just left, and you've already helped me out. I thought it was lively around here. You were having a Pokemon battle, huh? Isn't it nice to be young? Who are you? Who am I? I'm the owner of this ranch, and this is my wife. They, From the small images, they look like they're younger than, you know, a husband and a wife, but whatever. After a Pokemon battle, you should heal your Pokemon's HP, right? Here, I'll give you this! And we get another potion. We're just getting handed potions left and right in this game. And one for you! Aw, oh, don't give Tyson anything. It's nice to have potions when you're far away from the Pokemon Center. By the way, you didn't happen to see a Herdier around here, did you? I can't figure out where he went. Our two Herdier are always together, and this is the first time one has wandered off. So I'm a little worried. You're a little worried? Are you kidding me? Your Pokemon might be lost forever! Whatever, I'll look. 24-7, help out! And off he goes. Why did he get so mad? I think it's probably just playing somewhere in the ranch. I wonder, by the way, dear, if your Pokemon get hurt, let me know. I'll make them feel better for you. That could be suggestive. But let's get our Snivy back to 100% here, after our little battle there. Yep, you and your Pokemon are full of energy. Alright, so let's dive in here. I uh, just want to check here, I'm pretty sure about Pokeballs last time. Because we'll probably be using some here. Yep, we got 16 Pokeballs, and we got the Premier Ball as well. So, um... I believe the main Pokemon to find in this area is Ryolu, but he only has like a 5% capture rate. So let's dive around here a little bit, see what we can find. Get our Snivy up to level 10 anyway. Ooh, Psyduck. I have to catch him. Psyduck and Jigglypuff are my two favorite Pokemon, if you don't already know that. So I surely need to get a Snivy on my side. And he's got Cloud 9. All weather effects disappear. Not raining like our last time here. Um, let's see. I believe he's a pure water type, but I'm just going to use tackles here to, because I don't want to accidentally knock him out right away. Because I do want to capture him, although we probably will find more of him, but, you know. I want a Psyduck on my squad. 
Hopefully that'll do it. Scratches aren't doing a whole lot to me, even though that was a critical hit. All right, big Pokeballs, Pokeball, use. Pokeball, go! Pokeball to the beak. One, two, three. Captured. Got me my Psyduck. Nice. And I guess I gotta catch them all anyway, so... I don't know if I'll continue trying to capture every Pokemon, but... Because I do have to, you know, actually kind of increase my guy's levels once in a while, too. Uh, still no nickname, favorite or not. Alrighty. I know there's a lot more Reaps in this area as well. Um, let's get a quick trainer battle in here. Get us... Oh. Can't even turn my way out of the grass. I was going to say, let's get to level 10 right away, but... Oh, well. Lillipup. Don't have that yet, either. And we'll use some tackles here, too, see if we can capture him. If we knock him out, I should be going to level 10. Yeah, I'm not going to try to capture him with that. We'll just knock this one out. Maybe we'll try to catch a lily pup that we encounter shortly. I'm sure we'll find another one wandering around here. Hey, yeah, lily pup fainted. Level 10. Ooh, gained 3 speed that time. Only gained 1 on the last level. And we learned rap. All right. Now let's see if we can get to our battle here. Come back here. I want it. There we go. <laughs> let's see who has the most admirable Pokemon. And it is... Last Molly. And she's got two pokes. First one being Purloin. How fierce. Level six. You're no match for my Snivy. Let's keep using Tackle. You know, it's, it's good enough. For this stage, at least. Oh, don't lower my attacks. That's just crazy. Uh, let's see what Fine Whip does to you, Purloin. Not too bad. Ooh, Assist. What move are you going to get? Ooh, you assisted for a Tackle. Doesn't really tell me what your next Pokemon is going to be in any f shape or form. And we'll finish you off with a tackle. Critical hit! Not that you can tell since, you know, they were already near being knocked out. 66 experience points. Sawaddle. I should switch out just so I can, you know, level somebody else up. I don't know if I really, really want to level up at this point, but... Let's see. Right now I have a level 4 Patrat. Patrat, whatever. Level 4 Purloin, level 3 Sawaddle of my own, and a level 5 Psyduck, but he's not really in battling condition right now. Um. I don't know. Let's just skip Hewa Snive. You don't really have anybody else worry, really worth leveling up too much right now. Other than maybe the Psyduck, but. Um. Like I said. Um. He's not in battling condition right now anyway, and I'll burn a potion right now just for the heck of it, so. Yeah, ooh. Oh, yeah, Rap's not going to do a lot, but it will keep doing damage throughout, so. If you're going to use Rap, you might as well have that be the, the first attack you do within a battle. Otherwise, you know, it doesn't do much after that. It looks like it's only doing, like, one hit point of damage each time, but, you know, it may make the difference of saving us a turn in the end, but. Although, if Tackle is that with a critical hit, you know, whatever. Can the rap kill him? Or knock it out, excuse me? No, not even close. Can't even tell how the hit points are going down. Interesting. So, another tackle must be used. Goodbye, Seawaddle. 74 experience points, not too bad. Almost to level 11. Even though we lost, my Pokemon are still pretty admirable. 96 for winning. Alright, just because we're... Might as well have it so Psyduck can actually get some level up. Let's go talk to the wife of the owner. Get healed back up here. Only takes a second. Alright. Um, FYI, this Fluxy Ranch might be two parts. If you can't tell us how long this video ends up. Um, it's going to do some Battle of Wild Pokemon and if there's any other trainers down here. And then we'll go find the Herdier in the next part probably. Let's see. Oh yeah, the Pokeball's up there. Oops, I did not mean to do that. I guess that's not that big a deal. 
Let's go get that Pokeball in there. I'll probably run into Pokemon or two along the way. Oops. I got very good steering. Wow, nothing encountered on the way in. Hey, Pokeball. So it puts us back to 16, I believe. There we go. Can we find a Rialu? That'd be nice to find it this early. Nope, another Lily Pup. Ooh, a level 7. I prefer to catch them at the lower levels, because I feel like they end up better if you are able to raise them for lower levels, so we'll probably just knock this one off the experience as well. Um, I guess we'll stick with our tackles. It's sufficient enough. Hello, level 7. Hmm. Let's see what a Vimeup does. Vimeup to the face! It seems about, about the same. Order Sleuth. I was identified. Oh no, they know I'm Snivy. Yes, I know it does more than that, but, you know. Order Sleuth again. That's dumb, but, you know, it's a wild Pokemon. He doesn't know any better. How good it is a he? I didn't misrepresent that Lily Pup. It was a level 7 male. Still is, but, you know, it's knocked out now. Level 11. Nice. Our Snivy's becoming boss. Let's see, any other trainers around here? I want to fight somebody. Let's see, I want to get my Psyduck up a level or two at least. So let's go quick, make him my first Pokemon so I can switch out of him and give him the experience if I need to. Whoops. Well, he's a gentle nature in case you cared. Wrong button. Switch. And I better make it so Snivy is still my second one, just so I don't mess things up too badly here. Alright. I don't think we got any double battles coming up just yet. I think that comes up possibly on Route 20, but... Did Herdier wander somewhere back here? Let's have a look! Alright, there's a trainer. I thought there was a trainer up here. Uh, this... Let's see. Maybe this will be our last battle list video on all. We'll see. We'll get to about 15 minutes, probably. You're challenged to Jander Orville. Is he related to Orville Redenbacher? And he sends out a lily pup. Level 6. Let's see what side I can do on his own. Just for fun here. Maybe he can knock him out all on his own. Let's see. We got Water Sport, Scratch, and Tail Whip. Let's try a Scratch attack. That did very little. And his tackle does a lot more. Yeah, let's see what Water Sport does for fun here. Fire's power was weakened. Oh, that's all it does. Shows how smart I am. So, yeah, now he's, you know, ready to be knocked out. Whoops. I don't want a potion. I want to change Pokemon. Snivy! Because, you know, you're a boss. Like a boss. Those lip up use tackle. And I will tackle you back. Very nice. Just because of the level difference, my tackle appears to be much stronger than his. Does a lot. Much bigger chunk of their damage taken out. Alright, 30 experience for Snivy and 56 for Psyduck. Why does Psyduck get more? Anyone know? I thought they always got equal amounts. Maybe he's got a certain kind of ability or something I don't know about or something. I don't know. Interesting. Uh, we'll switch back to Psyduck. See if we can get him to level 6 here at least. I'm not sure what level he learns his next move at, but... So right now, Scratch isn't, you know, really cutting it too well here. Obviously, I don't want to keep him in there. I don't think Marip has any Thunder type of moves. Electrical moves, but... Obviously, with three hit points left, doesn't matter what movie does, he's not going to last long enough to knock it out, most likely. So. Alright. Send in old reliable Snivy here. It's got Thunder Wave, which I think paralyzes. Yep. But no damage if I watch that correctly. Alright. Um, let's see how Vine Whip does, if I can get it off. Looks like because of my paralysis, my speed is greatly decreased as well, since I don't get the first attack on the trade-off there. Five up nicely effective. Hopefully, despite this growl, I can still knock it out on one more hit here. 
Ah, good. The paralysis did not affect me, but did not quite knock it out. Finish up with tackle. Tackles me first. And this time I can't move. So let's try one more time here. Knock it out. And you catch yourself from a reap, too. Uh, lambs are actually, well, I guess cat's my favorite animal, but ever since I was little, I used to, like, collect stuffed animals of lambs, because a stuffed lamb was, like, the first animal I got, stuffed toy I got as a young, young child, so. Anyways, we painted. So, that'll probably do it for this part, then. Psyduck grows to level 6. Doesn't get any attack, but gains 2 points in most categories, so not too bad. And he gives us, let's see, wow, astounding for one so young. I missed that, oh well. 240 for winning. So not too shabby. So we'll end this one here. Um, stay tuned for part number five, where we'll continue here in the Floxy Ranch. We'll try to find Ry Ryalu. We'll recover the lost herdier. And we'll see what other stuff we may encounter along the way. So thank you all for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, etc. And I'll see you next video for part number five.